Hello everyone, how's your day? My name is Chris and welcome back to Let's Play Animal Crossing for a year. In the last episode, hey my peeps, of course, today we're putting you over for news of Barry the Greatest Treasure ever in one of the E Acres. So it's a different kind of treasure hunt, I could say. Sometimes we'll see somewhere in the three acres, sometimes we'll see sometimes in like the E Acres. And this time it's the E Acres, so we're gonna be any of these acres. But yep, yeah, let's see what we got in the mail. We've got some new music playing from Tom Nook. Uh, for today only we have a selection of items, we'll find anywhere else, you've never heard of that one before, uh, uh, your home could be a castle, it the beauty of a regal bed, dresser, wardrobe, vanity, sofa, table, cupboard, and regal carpet and wallpaper, that sounds great, yeah, I'll definitely do that, actually, the regal set is kinda cool, torso of a dwelling plalilevasaur, plasiosaur, there we go, okay, I just wanted to prove that I could actually indeed say that, uh, trailer bite, hey, 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 just what we always wanted, <laughs> Okay, I don't think we have a plesiosaur's chest, do we? Cause I love touching the chest. I'm sorry, I apologize, I'll never do that again. Except for the next time I do it, in which case, I will have done it again. Alright, let's grab that present. Boil it, mash it, stick it in a stew. I don't know where that came from. Well, it came from Lord of the Rings and the remix thing, but that's... Besides the point, because the real point is, has anybody else moved in? No. That's okay by me. Um, <clears throat> we're gonna go mail some freaking fossils right now, right before I forget about them, because I kind of feel like I'm gonna forget about them. Well, not really. I just, I'm, I'm just going to do it because I feel like it. Okay. Fine. You discover my true plot and identity, which is that originally Chris. And it is actually 11 o'clock, it's the first time I played during this time, it's in the morning, and I woke up, well, somewhat early, I woke up around 10 today, I mean, that's that's better than I did yesterday, which was around 12, I mean, I'm going to bed a bit earlier, but anyways, let's go mail some fossils, the Pelly, the Pelican, so I pretty much deduce that Pelly is a deed Pelican, just because it would make sense for her name to be Pelly, you know, Pelly the Pelican, right, am I right? Well, she could also be a duck. She looks kind of more like a duck. So what I'm gonna do right now is I actually found a cream egg on my floor. And don't don't freak out because it was completely wrapped, and I mean there was nothing wrong with it or anything. It was in a nice clean part of my floor. It was just under some good clothes. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm gonna eat it. I've never eaten one of these in my life. The thought of them has always kind of grossed me out a bit, to be honest. So, um, I guess we're gonna see how well this goes. Hi, Yuka. Okay, okay, I hear you. Tis, tis, and I ask that you please lower your voice a few decibels. I didn't sleep well last night. I have got a splitting headache when you wouldn't believe. Unhorrible! Oh, Lack of sleep is arch enemy of beautiful skin. Who cares about your skin? You have freaking fur covering it. You thought you have blue skin. One of the two. Yeah, that was a complete mess. Where'd you get her? <laughs> My house is always looking great. Duh. Although it's kind of scary that she talked about this. I just said, like, how. I just did talk about how dirty my room is with the clothes on the floor and all that. Oh, points around the world. Mm, don't worry about what the other things do. You okay? I'm unwrapping this cream egg right now. It's actually kind of bit. Ew. I don't know if I want to eat this anymore. That's all. Parts of it all. St actually, that's probably from the cream that's inside. But like, when I pulled the wrapper off. Wrapper off. Some of it was all sticky and such. Okay. So of course she was mad. Good. Of course she was my bro. Yo, good morning! Today I'm going to grab life by the horns, wee wee! I'm going to give it to my heart! Chris, you give it your all too, alright? I'll wreck it out! Uh, wee wee, aw oh, yeah! <laughs> that wasn't French at all. Aw oh, yeah! Dude, we probably want some. Mm -hmm. I'm so hit I can really show my artistic side of my personality. Wanna know how? Igloo. Oh yeah, I called it. Okay. Here we go. I'm just gonna stuff this entire egg in my mouth. I'm making a way bigger deal of this than it actually is, I know, but and these always kind of gross me out a bit, to be honest. Wait, ew. I don't want it, mommy. I don't want it. Okay. Three, two, one. Ow. Kill me! Mmm. Mmm. It tastes genuinely okay. Oh, whoa, whoa. Um, we got a guy right. Never talk with your mouth full. Don't follow my example. Oh, guy for morning walk. Mm hmm. We've been talking about igloos. Why? I believe, wait, what, say the 25th? No, it's the 28th. Anyways, I think Gracie's here today. I'm surprised no one's talking about her yet. 
This is a rare item he was talking about. No. <gasps> Ew. It's a tall giraffe poop head. Hi. Yes, hello, I'm Gracie, the brave pioneer of today's perilous faction role. Can I help you, darling? Oh my good gracious! Look at you, you hearty! Tee hee hee! Oh, why? That wasn't the reaction I was expecting, but, uh, thanks? In a very classic style. Very chick, darling. Very chick. A little bit of advice? Need an accent, uh, need to accent part of your body, darling. Some originality doesn't hurt. Talking about me? Talking me about unoriginality? Do you know who I am, bitch? Do you know who I am? Okay, I'm okay now. Who's up right there? Do you see this hot looking set of wheels right here? I'm surprised. Don't know she insults your clothing, but. Okay, I'll take it. This, of course, is mine. It's a vintage car ordered from across the sea. Still salt, she's still wet. Isn't it just perfect for a fashion? It giraffe like yours truly? Oh, yes. Whoa! You got so dirty from driving dirt roads on the way to this hick town. Excuse me, hick town! Yeah, so you didn't do me a favor wash my car for me? You want me to wash your car? Mm, fabulous clothing, okay. It must be Daffy. Did you just tell me to wash it myself? Yeah, I did, biatch! Darling, stop with the jokes. They're not funny. It's not a joke. Don't do it. You lazy giraffe. And you're going to be fat when you're older because you don't do anything ever. Uh, stop complaining and get on with the car washing. Except for my car. You better work. Oh my god. Teleporting, teleporting, teleporting. Animal Crossing guy. Just move your right hand as quickly as you can. Let's get started, shall we? Ready, set, go. Okay, so if I press A, I'm going to warn you guys now. I've never successfully done this before. Not in just this game, but in any Animal Crossing game. I cannot, I'm not good at mashing buttons. <laughs> I don't know how that's a thing, but pretty much what I have to do is just mash as much as you can! I'm sorry, I'll stop now. Um, but yeah, normally at some point you get really slow. I haven't done that yet. Holy crap! Time's up, halt! Yeah, this is what I always get. Sort of a social -so job. I guess it's a bit cleaner than it was before. I'll give you a piece of clothing as I promised. Uh, oh, don't be silly, no, it's not my original designs. Don't you have to develop another fashion show. See, uh, which says it's a social -so job. That means you only did it 50% correctly. In which case, she just gives you a random piece of clothing that doesn't really have to do with anything. Actually, that looks kind of cool. I, I was expecting to get something really stupid looking, to be honest, just because, you know, the AI would make it look dumb. Well, it actually looks kind of neat. So we're going to keep that. I, I commend you for this, this time. Ugh, I hate overly friendly people and animals. Stop bothering me! Well, sorry, freaking Mary-Kate Ashley. Jesus! But yeah, if you do, if you do, like, a really good job, and, like I said, I only did, like, a 50% job there. If I did, like, all 100%, if I went all the way and crossed the universe and saved the Dragon Balls, what am I talking about? Uh, then she would have given us, actually, one of her original designs, which, as you would imagine, are just, like, limited to just getting from Gracie, like, those items. Oh, God damn it, Iglo! In my way! Who's in here? Hey, it's Penny. I wasn't expecting you. I was expecting Patty, but I couldn't remember her name, so I didn't want to say her name. I expected it was Patty because this is right by her house, and that'd be just typical of it to be really stupid. And to go off and get some fresh air, why don't you? What? You want me to chill with you? You look bored. I'm bored. Let's play a board game. Ha! It's gonna bargain for my cabin arbitrage. I think it's a symbol of, and if you pick the one thick enough, game over. You have to pay my price. She's different. I want to lower the price and pick a new one. Same price of forty-one. <laughs> yeah. No. I don't have any guts because I'm all risking every single bell I have to buy her stupid cabin chair. See, she said 41, 41,000 bells and whatever, and pretty much whenever you go in there with large sums of money, they'll they'll want to risk it all. But at the same time, if you went in there with like a thousand bells, then they would start you off at like a thousand bells as the highest bid. So, nah, lesson: never go in there with more than like I don't know, ten thousand bells or something. Otherwise, you'll most likely get ripped off and have to spend all of your monies and. Gambling and such. Remember, kids, if you're gonna gamble, gamble smart! <laughs> okay, let's see if I've donated this or not. And the answer is. Hey, hey, I say! I guess not then. Okay, so. Ow! I was like, okay, here's a plesiosaur. Where's a torso? What? It's all the way over here. How does that make sense? If that's the neck, then what the heck is this supposed to be, huh? 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 Anyways, it's clearly supposed. To... How? Is... How do they mail this to me? 
How really? How did they mail that to me? And how did I have that in my pocket? I just don't understand. But yeah, as you would imagine, that is the legs. Yeah. No, not really. It's the neck. It's kind of weird though. All I have is a neck. For like an entire fossil piece. It seems kind of pointless to me, to be honest. I mean, why not just have it a two fossil thing? Hey, you can't escape me. So stop trying to pee all of my good day. While I try to display all of the hey, hooray! And right, while I'm in a spiffy mood, I guess I shall talk. Shall we? Okay. Um, I don't have much time left in high school. I have one more semester. I mean, today I'm recording this a uh, good hour or so before I go in for. Well, it's not really an exam. Rather than it was like a project I had to do as as my world issues class final, which you had to go do a good deed. I've already talked about this, but pretty much I went to a ch uh, children's hospital and donated art supplies for that. The exam was to go do a good deed in the world. But anyways, I'm going in to show my teacher proof and evidence that I have done that. And then after that, I completed my first semester of the 12th grade. Which is pretty fantastic. And at the same time, same time terrifying. Because, not gonna lie, most people are like, Yes, I'm so excited to get out of high school. But I'm really feeling like kind of sad. It's like, you know, um, this, the high school par part of my life that everyone seems to remember is almost coming to is coming to a close. It's like, what do I do now? I don't know. I don't know what the heck to do. It's, it's like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I don't want to dis... I mean, some people are like, oh, yeah, I'm going to university for this and this and this. I'm like, oh, that's cool. I'm going for, um... Yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> I kind of want to go into broadcasting. Because I think that would be kind of fun. But... It's like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what I want to do for the rest of my life. And how am I supposed to know? I'm a freaking 17-year-old child. A man-child. I don't know what's going on, man. But yeah, it's just the predict predicament of my life. And I just genuinely feel sad. It's like, I'm going to miss everyone, I guess. <clears throat> but um, I guess, you know, whatever. Everyone goes through it. No reason to be too sad. Oh, crap. I didn't expect this. Uh, who freaking would have thought? Okay, um, there's no way. There's no way. It's, it is impossible. Um... Mm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mr. Chris. I mean, by Mr. Chris, I mean my Animal Crossing character. Ah! Oh, I did it! I caught a bee! I'm glad it didn't sting me. Me too. I did not think I would catch that at all. Now, bees! Can actually be a decent way of making money. If you're good at catching them, anyways. If you go and talk to Tom Nook, you'll actually buy these for 7,500 bells each. Which, I mean, if you do all five beehives a day, if you, like, if you get good at it, that's... Um... <laughs> let's have a 75,000 bells. 30... No. 4... No. 30, 37 or so? 37 and a half thousand bells. I mean, that's pretty good, to be honest, right? Oh, how wonderful for me. Do you have any jobs for me? Today I'm just in a genuinely good mood, though. I mean... I wish there was more for me to record. I'm still really far behind. Like, I have 27 episodes of uh, Fox Adventures recorded, and I really don't need to really record any more of that for a while, at least until I start uploading more of that, which yesterday I actually started uploading that again, well, today and like this world, but it's kind of complicated. Ah, who? Yes, indeed. That's a bee. Yeah, I feel like I should record more today, but I don't know what to record, so I don't have anything to record. <laughs> I have to say that I'm not overly fond of insects. Quite simply, I do not like touching them. Why? Well, I imagine you took more than a bit scared and daring to catch bees. I'm certain you must have been stung numerous times. How terribly painful that would have been. Hey, what? Incidentally, do you know uh, how some honeybees predict their hives when attacked by giant wasps? <laughs> they sneeze. The giant wasps can't survive heat above 115 degrees, but the honeybees can live up to heats to 122 degrees. The canny honeybees use this 9 degree difference to their furthest advantage. What? When the wasps arrive, the bees attack and en masse it. En, en masse. Is that, is that how you pronounce that? I don't know. A single wasp may be swarmed by up to 500 bees. This is truly amazing. The bees then begin to vibrate, creating a veritable cocoon of suffocating heat. Do you see the genius at work here? Summer is but a feverish defense against the giant wasps. Wait, this. The temperature? Hoo hoo! Lo and behold, 120 degrees just below the bees and threshold of survival. It's incredible fashion. Honey bees literally lay their. That's online. Protect their hives. Stupendous! 
Be honest, I learned that from a wee documentary I saw on the telly. Of course, you can't repeat on only so far when all is said and done. There's still insects, it's still ghastly. <coughs> so yeah, um, I have something stuck in my throat right now. You can probably hear my voice is all like, scratchy. That sucks. But yeah, that was actually kind of interesting. Thank you, Mr. Discovery Channel in there. Is this a here? B, I don't know. Huh. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to look like that. I was expecting like to be maybe like a beehive. Hi! Are you following me? No, you're not following me. You're probably running away from me. Yeah, he's running away from me. What an asshole! That's some old cricket. I was kind of expecting to see like a beehive. Actually, that might have been the first time I donated bees to a museum, to be honest. And... Yay, we finally have more than two bugs in here. Now we have three, and we really don't have too many more bugs to catch in the winter. Bugs don't even come out till like March, which is kind of sad. It's kind of maddening and kind of saddening. Mm. But anyways, what, what do we got for time? I've been talking for most of the time. We're at 17 minutes minus a good 20 seconds or so. I see you in the background, diggy hole. I see you in the background. Hey, you silly old goose. Did you maybe oversleep? Well, I did still oversleep because I did get up at 10. And I wish I could get up at like 9 every day or something. Mm, I'm sorry, I can't think of a single thing. Fine then! What an asshole! Give me something to do. Skippy doo blue. Wonderful for me. Hey, why are you talking to me, swine? Nothing! I've got nothing! Zip zero zitch! Fine! Jeez, try to do a good deed. No one wants you to do a good deed. It's like indeedly. <laughs> See what I did there? No? Okay, I didn't either. Um, is this an E acre? Yes, it is. Is this gonna be the treasure I was looking for? These are not the drones you're looking for? Hello? I can't see it anymore! Where was it? Was it here? No. How about here? Oh, I got it! A classic hutch! I, I don't know if I know what that is. That was actually pure luck. I'm glad I talked to Jambe right there. Otherwise, I would have never seen that piece of furniture. Furniture? I'm still kind of bummed about the fact that I don't have any way to play NES games on here. Because, <laughs> I mean, a big chunk of my... Um, a good, like, 10 or 11 episodes were just going to probably be, like... Have me playing these NES games I got like throughout the series, which I mean it's kind of sad that I won't be able to do that unless I find some other way. Maybe I'll try recording with my old capture card, my my um. I think I record Pitfall Expeditions with and actually Mario Sunshine too. Can I not flip this, please? For the love of, there we go. Okay, now we just gotta pull it out. I pull it out, dig it deeper just to throw it away. Oh my good God. Do it! You know, like the Nike thing says. <laughs> One day. One day! Can I just... There we go! That actually looks kind of neat. and actually looks like a pretty cool piece of furniture. So we're going to keep that. We are going to throw it. Actually, we don't need that. That thing's dumb. Let's just sell it. It's probably worth a lot of money considering it's from... Um, the Pelican guy. Why can't I remember his name? What do I want to call him Spencer for? What the heck's name is Spencer? Wasn't Spencer like one of those guys from one of those Disney TV shows? You know, you know what I'm talking about. Don't pretend like you don't. I know he's from one of like, you know, Hannah Montana or something. I don't remember which one though. There we go, those are Hutch though. Looks very butch. <laughs> See what I did there. <laughs> uh, I feel like that should be centered. Let's center it, shall we? Furniture arrangements with Chris! And I even pushed that all the way to the back of the wall. I'm such a silly poop face. How dare I? How dare I? And you can't even. C oh, yeah, you can. You can't center it. Never mind then. Excuse me while I talk to myself for an hour and a half. So, we're gonna go sell the stoof to Tom Nook and buy all the stoof. I mean, pretty much just those fossils and whatever I picked up. We've almost been playing for a month already. It's insanity. Kind of. Oh, I was like, what is this? Oh, yeah. Stoops. Well, I'll see you guys in a second. Mr. Tanuk, do I have a deal for you? I have a m m m deal you can't refuse or something. Take a- oh crap, god dang, I didn't mean to select just that. Select all the things, some all the things, and holy crap, that's- I was expecting at least 10,000 bells. I didn't get that rare item from- uh, what the heck's that guy's- I call him Pellington. That's not his name at all. <laughs> we're gonna buy some flowers though too while we're here. I guess it's gonna be a longer episode because I've been recording for a long time and yeah, tulips. Heck yes. So this used to be something I did all the time when I used to play this game. And I'm gonna do it right now because it'll actually help with both 
look nice around the town and it'll also be helpful with other things like catching bugs in the future. But if you take flowers, like so, see all these flowers? We can't just use these be Oh, I thought there was a bug in there for a second. I was like, oh my god, I can't believe I just scared away a bug, but no, it was just camouflaging in with the tree. I have to do the money rock still. Crap. Um, what do I like to do with flowers? Hey, it's a shiny spot. Flowers? We got a thousand bells! Okay, what I like to do with flowers is, actually, since the house is right here, we're gonna come over here. We're gonna go beside the house, and we're gonna get like this, like so. You see how that is? And we're gonna plant one here, and we're also gonna plant one here. So I like pretty much surround the houses. Not not completely surrounded. I mean, I mean surround. I mean, pretty much put fire here, 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 and one more right here. So I only need two more flowers to complete this side. And what's well, gonna be take a long time for now. Once we get upgraded Tom Nook store to its maximum, he sells like five or six flowers a day, so that'll be good. But anyways, I'm gonna go find the money rock and I'll see you guys momentarily. We got a thyroid! <gasps> it's a dead Pellington! Gulliver, I was just talking about you, you silly little guy. Yeah, I want some of your gratitude and gifts and such. You're token my things! Ah! Uh, I think it'll be quite delight. Episode 17, Treasure Strips. He pretty much just talked about the exact same thing that, well, he talked about before. He pretty much acts like nothing nothing ever happened. So, we got uh, something. Yeah, something. Okay, and we got a uh, Mouth of Truth. No, we got a Tokyo Tower. Mouth of Truth is like. Is one of the items we get from him, and it's pretty much the coolest one by far. What is it, maybe asking? Well, I guess you'll have to wait and find out and see. And we got a money rock as well. Hopefully, I don't get knocked off course too much. God dang it all! No! Wait a minute, we did it! Nice! I'm okay with this, not JPEG. Okay, so we're here to pay off the debt for closing off the episode. We have another 50,000 bales. That means we only have 300,000 <laughs> 10,000 left to pay off. Yeah, right. 300,000. That's a freaking step forward. We're getting closer and closer and closer. But my estimates, uh, we normally get about 50,000 bells every two or three days. So, if it's three days at the worst, let's say, we'll probably have, we'll probably have paid it off and <laughs> 300 divided by 50 is, um, god dang, it's six. Right, so six times three days is, is 12 to 18 days, which is just over a little over two weeks. So that'll be cool. Anyways, that's the episode. Thank you guys. Thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed, please feel free to leave a like if you haven't already. Ah, oh, crap. Thanks a lot for watching Day 21 of Stretch. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Oh, I'm getting dizzy. Bye.